Hey everybody, I'm here today with a math lesson on adding mixed numbers. In this video, I'll be going over the basic steps to add mixed numbers together. Now, this is the basic process. You want to add the whole numbers together, and then you want to add the fractions. It's actually a very simple two-step process. Now, let's go over an example, and let me show you how it's done. So, let's say we had two mixed numbers. The first one is going to be 2 and 3 fifths, and then we're adding that together with another mixed number, something like 1 and 1 tenth. Okay, so we have two mixed numbers right here. We're going to add them together. Now I'm going to try and keep this sort of separate so that it's easy to understand. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to start off by adding the whole numbers together, which is 2 and 1. Those are the whole numbers, the bigger numbers, 2 and 1. So we're going to start off by doing that 2 plus 1. Okay, and then we're going to also be adding that, so I'm going to put another plus symbol here, and we're going to do this on the other side, to the fraction. So the fractions that we have here are three-fifths, okay, and then the other fraction is one-tenth. So we're going to add those together, one-tenth, okay. So as you can see right here, we have added the whole numbers and we've added the fractions. Now we haven't actually done it yet, but this is the starting of the process. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down, okay? So two plus one is going to be three, which is fairly simple. We're gonna add it to the fractions. Now when we're adding fractions together, it's important to have the same denominator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this five to the 10, because that's the easiest way to get a common denominator, okay? So if I need to get the five to turn into a 10 using multiplication, I'm gonna need to multiply the five by two. And whatever we do to the bottom number, we also have to do to the top number of a fraction. So we're gonna also multiply the three by two, okay? Now we're gonna bring this down. Three times two equals six. 5 times 2 equals 10. We're going to add that to 1 over 10. We didn't have to touch the 1 over 10. And as you can see, we have the same denominator. We have the same bottom number. So now we're going to bring the 3 down because it's already done. We don't have to touch that 3. It's already finished, ready to go. And then we're going to add that to these two fractions that we're adding together. 6 over 10 plus 1 over 10, we need to add the top numbers. The denominators, the bottom numbers are already the same. So we just have to add the top number. 6 plus 1 equals 7. And the denominator, the 10, stays the same. 7 over 10. So what we have here is 3 and 7 tenths. And if we were to write it in just a formal and proper mixed number way, we would have a big 3. And then we would also have 7 over 10. 10, just like that. And that's the final answer. 2 and 3 fifths plus 1 and 1 tenth is equal to 3 and 7 tenths. And the basic process is actually fairly simple. Once again, you have to add the whole numbers together and then you have to add the fractions together. Now, as you can see, just to recap, I added the whole numbers together and that was fairly simple. It's usually simple. Two and one is three. That's pretty much the easiest part of the process. What takes the most time is adding the fractions together to get this second part. And when I added the fractions together, I had to make sure that the denominator was common. The denominator was the same. So I had to find a common denominator and that was easy to do because in order to get a common denominator I just had to bring the 5 to a 10 it was it was relatively simple and I multiplied the bottom number by 2 and that meant that I also had to multiply the top number by 2 once I did that I just added the top numbers together right here the numerators together which gave me 7 and the bottom numbers the denominators were already common so I left them the same which gave me 10 my final answer was 3 and 7 tenths. And that's how you add mixed numbers together. It's a simple process. Add the whole numbers, then add the fractions. It's relatively simple. And that's basically it. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.